Hey everybody, I am just here with the kiddo, right there, he's right there, and uh, today is Sunday fun day, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday fun day, and we are going to play Gru, this is Gru the game, uh, Steve Jackson games, which I hadn't heard of before, uh, I guess Gru was created by Sergio Aranganese, Ar 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 that's the guy who did the drawings, <clears throat> oh he did the drawings, sorry, uh, yeah, though that makes sense because he kind of autographed it there. Kind of really, really fun. Okay, so this is a game that was sent to us by the very awesome and generous Julie Farnham. Um, she knew that we loved games, and I did a really cool video. Well, I think it was cool. Uh, when I opened it up, and um, I, I lost it. I lost the video. Either I hit picture instead of record, which I've done before. Uh, or I just, I don't know what to do with it, but I can't find it anywhere. Um, so we actually are going to play this today and that's super fun. So here's the deal. Gru is, uh, this cute character, but he's also somebody who you don't want. Uh, we are going to show you how to play this game. There are fun dice. If you get here, I'm going to take them. There's a big fun dice. Whoa, big fun dice. There's a bunch of cards and, uh, it comes with this really cool bag. And so we were debating on whether or not we want to keep everything. Here's something uh, to hold your cards in the bag. Or do we want to keep it in the box? I think what we decided was we're going to keep everything in the bag, but we're still going to save the box. We're going to put the box like up in the closet or whatever. And we'll put this one with all of our games. And we have a lot of games because we love playing games. Uh, but I thought it would be fun if we showed you how to play. Uh, I got my Dr. Pepper ready, so as soon as your mom gets here, we are going to get started. So stay tuned. Thank you, Julie. So awesome. And I can't wait to show you how fun this game is. Yeah. All right. So this is what we're going to do. We have a deck of cards that have different um, tasks on there and different things you need to do. Um, the object of the game is to build up your town. And how many points do you need to win? Seven. Seven points to win. And you use Gru to destroy your opponent's uh, town. So let me. what we're going to do is we're going to start with five cards. Okay. And should we put them all so everybody can see them since... Okay, so normally when we're starting a game, we put all of our cards out uh, so we can kind of learn together. Okay, right, here we go. Okay. We can do that. We can do it. Oh, gosh. I dropped one. So we have a few different kinds of cards. We have this purple card, which is an event card. Which you have to play right now, right now, right now. But if you draw it, you have to put it back in the deck and draw another one card. Yes, great point. So I'm going to put it back randomly in the deck. I'm going to pull out a new card. Okay, yellow. Okay, so here we go. There are, there's that one that's an event card. Purple we have, is event. Yeah, we have uh, green cards, and these are your armies. Now, you can use your armies to attack your neighbors or defend against Gru. You have yellow. Not against Gru, against other people. Oh, against other people. You can use yellow ones. This, these are your towns, and this is how much your town is worth, and this is what you have to roll to get your town. And some have special powers when they are played. Yes, stuff. very good point. They all, some of them have special things down here that will give you uh, other, other uh, special, special things. things. Yeah. And, and then, then you have there a red one. are red cards, which are Gru cards, which on these dice there are Gru heads, and you can use. You can spin Gru heads to mess around with a person who has Gru at their town. Yes. So, let's start. Um, and then you have all these dice. Okay. There's also rainbows, which are wilds, which can be played at any specified time. Right, We and we haven't drawn a wild yet. So this is your Gru marker card. And I'll go ahead and start with Gru. How's that? The dealer's supposed to start with them. Okay. There you go. I think can we show the things that are on here? Yes. We have... Supplies. Supplies, like a sack of flour. We have, I call them like the army man. It's uh, labor. We have... Coupons. Coupons instead of coins. We have Gru. Heads. And is that it? Yes. That's it. And then this one? 
tells us where Gru's going to go. Tell this, yes, this tells you what Gru needs to do. So Gru goes to the right. Gru stays. This dog staying. Gru goes to the left two times, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you roll all these dice at the same time. So I'm gonna let you do it. No, it's your turn. You go first. I was the dealer. Okay. All right, so here's what I have. Oh, this is not a great roll for me, you actually. Got a lot of I got a lot of labor. I got a left two times, and I got one grew. So, left two times will be after the game, after I do everything else, right? So, um, with my five labor and one grew, I can do nothing because. Even if I want to put this out, this will cost me one labor and one sack of flour, and I don't have the right things. So here's the interesting part. Whatever dice you don't use, it goes to the person to your left until everybody, until everybody on the table gets a chance. So if we had a third person or a fourth person, it would go all the way around until all of the die were used or it went around to whoever rolled originally. So... You get to do all of these things. I'm going to use three labors to summon the temple. Okay. See, and then I'm... Th he used three labors to summon the temple, and that's temples were two points. And I'm going to use one labor to summon a footman, and okay. another labor to summon a residency. Excellent. And then I'm going to... So can I show this real quick? Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> the armies, they have a one shield and a one attack. And that's useful when somebody's attacking you or you're trying to attack somebody else. Okay, that is all I can use, so I'm going to pass on you to the group. Yeah. Well, and I need to make Gru go left two times. And since there's only two of us playing, it goes right back around to me. You don't want Gru in front of you. No, you do not. You do not. So you go, buddy. And then we have to draw, draw back. <clears throat> To yes. five cards. And yes. I only have two left, so I'm going to draw three times. Three times. Excellent. Which you also do at the beginning of your turn. Uh, before the draw phase, you can also discard any cards that you don't want. True. Forgot about that part. But we didn't have any cards, so we didn't. We wanted to discard, so I don't know. Okay. It's my turn. I'm going to roll out the dice. Roll it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Got a lot of flour. You got two grew faces, three flowers, one labor, and left two times. Okay, <clears throat> I am going to use left twice would be back to you. Isn't this the last thing you do or is this the first thing oh, you do? Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember either. So we could do left two times. It doesn't matter. It goes straight back to me. I'm going to use a flower to summon Bowman. Okay. And... Then I am going to use my two Gru heads. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. No, that doesn't do anything. You don't, yeah. Yeah, I can't do anything else. So, so the, Gru, the Gru can only damage things you have out. And these theoretically would be in our hands and you wouldn't be able to see them. But we're putting them out so you can kind of see us do, working through it together. Okay. I'm going to give you a hint. Okay, then it goes to my turn. So I have... Two Gru heads, which currently don't do anything for me. I have two sacks, and I have one army guy with which to play. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a sack and an and a army guy. Labor. Labor. And I'm going to get pull out a school of arms, which is a building. But then I have one more sack, and I'm going to pull out my bowman, <clears throat> which is two death and zero shield. And then I have two grooves, but I can't use it. So it would go back to the young Me. man to my left, but he can't use either. Oh, uh, yes, so the, I can. Now I can. So the turn is over. You already had your shot. It doesn't, wah, keep, it doesn't wah, keep circling. Wah, wah, wah. So everybody gets their cards. Would you like to go first? Uh, to make yours five? Yes, I would love to. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And then I will take the next two. This is a wild card. You talked about that one a little bit earlier. The rainbow. Rainbow. So they can they uh, usually affect group, but they can be played at the stipulated time. And if there is no stipulations, you can play them whenever you would like, even on someone else's turn. Yes. Okay. My turn. All right. I got two sacks, three, four sacks, 
one soldier, one Gru, and right two times. Which is still at you. Which, right back to me. Uh, so what will I do? I will do a sack and a soldier to pull out my uh, cavalry. Cavalry, cavalry. And cavalry. I will use one sack to pull out my guard tower. And that leaves a Gru in two sacks. Um, for me, which I can't For use. you, yes, I can't use those. So, I can't use them you either. You can't use them either? All right, so now it is your turn. Thank you. Oh, I need to get your two, two cards. cards. Oh, and I got two red cards. These are action cards, or effect cards, sorry. They're Gru cards. Okay. It is time. It is time. Whoop de doo. Whoop de doos. And before we roll the dice, there is an optional attack phase if I wanted to attack my father, which I do not. Thank you for not attacking me. I could though. You could. But I won't. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my goodness. He's got four sacks, one coin. Grew to the left two times and a grew head. Okay, I'm going to use a sack and a coupon to summon my Toronto, which says Toronto is not affected by wild cards. Interesting. Um, then you have three sacks. I can't do anything with the three sacks. Okay, so the three sacks come to me and the grew head come to me, and I can't do anything with the three sacks. And then I have this one grew head. And I'm not gonna use it. It doesn't, it doesn't help me at all. And then so Gru goes left two times. One, two. Apparently Gru is just gonna live at my house. Your town. My town. All right, I got one, two, three coupons. Two sacks, one head, and finally, Gru's gonna go to the right. No! Did we decide if it's at the beginning of the turn or the end? I say beginning. You think so? I have no idea. I think be. Let's do beginning. Okay, so Gru goes to you. Mm -hmm. I have three coins I can use. Okay, so I'm gonna use my three coins to summon the castle. To summon the castle. Which is very, very valuable. Yes. Uh, I am going to do... Uh, that, that's all I'm going to do. <clears throat> so he gets to use two sacks and a grew head. I can't use them. He's not going to use them. I'm going to get my one card... And then you can draw. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use my temple so I double all of my laborers, which does not get passed on to you. So I actually have eight laborers. So I'm going to summon Marketplace. Let me rearrange this a little bit. So he's he's reading one of his cards that gives him a special ability. Temple doubles my labor cost when doubles my uh, my amount of labors when I roll the dice. Yeah. So I actually have eight labors. I just spent two of them, and then I am going to use um, a third labor to summon a cavalry unit, and I think that's all I can. <laughs> Siri's talking to you. Um, <laughs> I that is only three, three uh, people, humans. So these are gonna go to you. You don't want to use your coin and your flower. I, oh, thank you. I'm also gonna summon a shipyard, which means you get a labor. Okay, uh, which is no good for me. But he goes right once, right? So he goes back to me. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Get your coins. Get your cards, sorry. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I am going to use a labor and a coin to pull out my pikeman. Pikeman's a powerful pikeman's unit. Pikeman's a powerful unit. Um, and that's, that's all, that's all I get to use. And I, I rolled the stay, so Gru stays in front of me. Why didn't you give them to me? Because I didn't use those. Okay. Um, I am then... Ooh, 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 ooh. You only need one more point. Oh, well then I'm going... Oh, wait. Okay. I'm going to summon another cavalry unit. And then I'm going to use this to summon a guard tower. And now I have two, four, six, seven points because of all of my buildings. And I win! Yay! You win seven points! Victory, I had four points. Uh, not nearly as good. I should have probably discarded these to get some better cards, but uh, I didn't, just for the sake of having a good time. So overall, it's a really, really fun game. It's pretty quick with two people. It takes a little bit longer uh, with three. Um, it's also more fun with three because you can move Gru around a little bit more and doesn't get stuck with me the whole time. But uh, <laughs> it was really fun. Julie, thank you so much for thinking of us and sending us a super fun game. Those are very nice of you. Uh, we approve. Three nerds approve of the Gru. Talk to y'all later.